Hello and welcome. This is going to be a review of, uh, of a microscope that I bought. Uh, microscope is uh, a, bit, uh, a bit much, but however I got it for cheap uh, at a local electronics store. And uh, in this video, of course, I'm going to do uh, the direct unboxing. I'm going to do a presentation on the, on the microscope and of course I'm going to put some, uh, some things on a, on a slide or uh, under it to, just to see how, uh, how, it, how it works and how it compares to a, to a regular biology microscope. So I'm going to put one American dollar under it. I'm going to put one fruit fly. Uh, also no, uh, known as a Drosophila melanogaster. This is going to be a mutant. I am also going to put some uh, samples that the microscope came with. This is going to be a slide with, um, with a, a bee wing, a honey bee wing. Then I am going to put a slide with uh, onion uh, epidermis, right? Then to put it to the to the test, I'm gonna put a slide under it with uh, human white blood cells. Then I am going to compare it with uh, with the regular uh, microscope, with a biology microscope that I got right here in the in the lab, a micros one, if I'm not uh, if I'm not mistaken. So without further ado, let's uh, let's get into into the review. Alright, so for the unboxing, uh, it comes in, uh, in this box, right? It basically comes with also with uh, two slides, the sample slides, which I removed uh, previously out of the box. Uh, the onion epidermis and uh, the bee wing. It also comes with two uh, instruction manuals. And uh, of course an operator's manual. In the actual box, you get you get the microscope with uh, with their, with its stands and uh, and whatnot. So this is a stand and this is a, an arm. Let me just take this out of the box and, uh, of course, put it uh, put it in uh, together for for you. Just build it. So first of all, you need to to insert the arm into the stand. Then you're gonna need to put the uh, the other arm that that you will use for uh, for zoom and. Uh, and stuff like that. Just tighten it really well, put in the cap, and then you put in the microscope right in, uh, in the arm there. So this is the microscope, it has an LCD screen and some, uh, some buttons. It also comes with an 18650 battery, right? So you can use it both um, as is, or uh, if you want, you can tie it to a computer. It works with both uh, Macintosh and Windows. So this is the zoom button, and of course, you're gonna have the the optical uh, part, and you're gonna have the the light there. All right. So this is the microscope all set up. Let's uh, let's get into into the presentation of the software right now. Okay, so let's turn it on for a presentation of the software. Basically, this is the this is the screen. We have uh, the right and left buttons, which you can use at, as an additional 4x zoom. Here you have the menu. It has the resolution right here. So you can basically choose between 1 megapixel, 2 megapixels and the VGA. 
Um, in the main menu, you can set the language, the date, time, a screensaver, a frequency. I don't know what this is exactly about. Uh, you can set the format for your uh, SD uh, SD card because it also uh, you can also add an SD card for export. And um, of course, you're gonna have the the version and stuff like that. So for the microscope, let's. Uh, Let's put something under it, right? You can basically uh, adjust the, the image and the height from here, from the back. Okay, so right now let's put an American dollar right here. All right, this is the coin right here. Right here. Let's uh, try to, to zoom and adjust the image a little bit. Okay, so this is Lady Liberty right here. Let's turn on the light because I forgot to. And this is how basically you could study study coins, right? Of course, you can uh, you can zoom in and uh, zoom out. You can zoom in uh, much much further, but for this. I prefer using like uh, something else, like a microscope slide. So uh, let me just put in uh, this um, this B wing that I have right here, right? Of course, the same. We're gonna try to, to zoom. Let's zoom out a little bit and try to catch the to catch the image. Then we'll zoom in. Okay, so pardon the image, but uh, please consider that I am filming this with my phone, right? So you cannot see the screen exactly as you should. So yeah, this is the this is the B wing right here, and let's zoom in as much as we can. Adjust the height a little bit, and swoosh, swoosh. You must make make the sounds right. Okay, so we got the image right here. And I'm pretty happy with it. You can see a lot of details. I'll uh, post, of course, a picture, right? Because I also uh, hooked it to, a, to, a, to my Mac right here. So, yeah, you can see the individual hairs on the, on the wing. So, yeah, that's okay. I'm pretty happy with, uh, with this. So let's also try with the uh, other sample, the onion, onion epidermis. We're just going to put it straight, straight under the microscope and see what we can, uh, we can visualize right here. Okay, so this is the, uh, this is the onion epidermis. Let's see if we can zoom in a bit further. No, no, we can. And of course, I'm going to attach some, uh, some pictures, right? Okay, so basically I started recording just for you guys to see what's happening. Uh, as I was saying, this is a fruit fly, right? Um, the actual fly in the image is a mutant. It's, it is asleep, so uh, no flies were harmed during the, the making of this video. The, the fly has two mutations. One is called serrate, which makes the, uh, the wings serrated as opposed to, to round, as in wild type. And another mutation is called stubble, which basically makes uh, the hair on the fly's back be a little tinier than normal. So actually, it's a light, a lot tinier. So you can see here in the image the hair on the on the on the back of the fly. Okay, so this is the image. I did not zoom in uh, at maximum. I'll try to do that right now. Okay, so this is the quality of the image. I'm, I'm really happy with it actually. 
you can uh, you can see the individual hairs, right? Yeah, so this is this is good, actually. Look at the compound eyes right here. Let's take a picture. You can also film with it, of course. Let's check out the serrated wings. The tiny legs. Yeah, so this is a fruit fly under a microscope, right? Look the hair on its back. They're they're tiny, right? Let's see if we can uh, count the hairs on uh, on the wing right here. So one, two, three, four. Nah, just joking. Let's take a picture. Of course, I'm gonna post some pictures when I'm done, just for you to see how uh, how this microscope really performs. Yeah, so this has been the, the fruit fly under the microscope. Alright, and now for the last part, let's really put it to the test with, uh, with the, the microscope slide. You can see here the cells, but let's zoom in at maximum and see what we can, uh, see what we get, right? And of course, then I'm going to compare it to the, to the microscope. So these are the images right here. As you can see, you can see the cells. It's really hard to get a good focus, but this is it. Okay, let's get another picture, then I'll show you uh, how it compares to the, to, the, to the biological microscope right here. So, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, have a good day.